I'm doing part three, so I'm checking my cheese right now. Actually, the bowl gets really hot, so. This is technically how thick and creamy you want it, like, that it doesn't even want to come off the spoon, but we're not done because I'm feeding a lot of people. And, okay, so my water's still not boiling, so I'm just going to put in, like, four pieces of cheese because I need to feed my family. I'm actually going to be the cook. You think I would make a good cook? Leave a comment down below if you think I would make a good cook. And I hope you guys try out this recipe because it's very simple and just tweet or Instagram me a picture of what it looks like. So I can tell you. So I'm going to check on my cake actually. After I'm done putting my cheese in. Are oh, you playing bowling? I love making food. I love making food. Putting some milk at the top. Actually, a lot of milk. Putting it in for 45 seconds. And checking in in 15 seconds. Pull my cake. That's how it forms. Like I have to like literally stop and check it because my cheese handle. Grandma, cake's looking good. Okay, taking it out and going to stir it. Sorry, I have to put you guys back in the position that I had you guys in. And pretty soon, this is going to get really hot, so you're going to want to put on some gloves. So... You guys probably saw it. Taking my cheese journal off. And just mixing it. It's not completely mixed, but you gotta mix it in. So. <coughs> I'm gonna put that back in. The micro. Micro, micro, micro. For the 17 seconds that is left on my clock. Now I'm about to change my cheese, cheese kernel, because I love me some great ass cheese. There was only one second. Are you excited to try my mac and cheese, Grandma? Nathan, are you excited to try my mac and cheese? I gotta see how many noodles I'm making. Two 
Okay, now checking my special dessert for someone. It's getting firm. Yeah, it's getting firm around the edges. It's actually looking really good. We're just going to put one last piece of cheese so I and just a little bit more milk cause I love me some milk and just putting enough so the mac and cheese doesn't get all thick and thin that it doesn't taste good For 20 seconds, only in 20 seconds. Something that you will simmer on a high base, like temperatures high. Now looking at my frosting here, because. And I said we were going to use the litter. Uh, I mean, so I'm actually going to let that cool down because taking some sort of litter. And actually, I can't wait to taste this recipe, actually. Kind of like, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a minute. I do two, two little swazzes, but I think I may put some more in because it was like almost out. So it's pink, so. Grandma! He died! just want to use a little bit up. That was a butter, butter, butter. And just that round was quick. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. I'm stirring the frosting. Just so everything gets a little bit of pizzazz. And if I don't think it has enough pizzazz. Yes, Grandma, two bounces. I will certainly just add some more pink. Because pink, I think, works the best in my form, but I will use a lot of the oil and keep the container. Just because the container is so cute. And actually, it is kind of sparkly because I'm not really tell what I think everyone's going to like, like, yes, putting this in the fridge to rest, checking my cheese because yes. my, um, noodles are about done, putting my cheese away, the noodles are smelling really good. If you do, if you like butter, you can add butter, but this recipe doesn't recall for butter. You may put butter if, like, butter is your thing. Butter's not my thing. So I think I have enough cheese here. Everyone's so excited to try my recipe. I feel like a, an actual cook here. And I let this cool off because it can get very hot is something that I don't want to happen. Is to get too to get overheated. Basically I just don't want to get overheated. And now I'm gonna look for the strainer. I'm going to strain well make sure my noodles are completely done first. I haven't touched my noodles since I put them in. Yes. I'm just going to take one noodle. See I put a little bit of if I can't really talk through it.
grandma just passed around a candy crush. My grandma's on 100 level and 8. You want to consistently keep stirring this cheese. I'm putting a little bit more milk because this is a little bit too creamy. And I don't like my uh, cheese very creamy or consistency, so just mixing in. I think I put a little bit too much milk. Kind of just mixing that in, as you can see. I can't wait for this. Grandma and Nathan, are you excited? Because, Grandma, I basically just cooked you dinner and dessert and a special treat. All on me. Noodles aren't done, but I'm gonna go wake up my baby. Bye. I will show you another video.